a legendary Las Vegas entertainer passed away today. Of course, talking about Robbie Knievel brought out record crowds every time he performed. Ron Futrell is here with the details and really an incredible life, Ron. Yeah, Brian and Kirsten. Robbie Knievel did it unlike any other, well, except for one, of course, his famous father, Evil Knievel, who inspired generations of daredevils, including his son, Robbie. Robbie died today in Reno of cancer. He was 60 years old. The fountains at Caesars Palace were a focal point for daredevils. 1967, the dad, Evil Knievel, made the jump but had some serious issues with the landing. He broke his pelvis, a dozen other bones in his body, spent more than two months in the hospital after that crash. So, fast forward 22 years. Son Robbie trying to make that same jump 160 feet from ramp to ramp. Oh, it was an amazing day out there in front of Caesars Palace. The Knievel family finally proved that they can do it. They could conquer the jump. But until Robbie landed it safely, everybody held their breath. I'm glad my dad's still alive to help me out with something I've that's been a big dream for the last 10 years, and that's to jump the fountains at Caesars Palace. This is gonna be a tough thing for me, this jump. Yeah, between the two Knievels, Gary Wells tried the fountains in 1980. He missed the landing ramp, and that was not a happy ending. Wells barely survived, died two years ago in Arizona. So Robbie is the only person to successfully make that jump and also land it. He also jumped 30 limousines at the Tropicana. That was actually a farther jump. He jumped in between the Jockey Club Towers here in Las Vegas, 13 stories high. He broke his leg jumping the Grand Canyon on New Year's Day. In 2008, he jumped in front of the volcano at the Mirage Hotel. And I'd interviewed both Robbie and his dad a number of times before that Caesar Palace jump and was with his dad when he made the jump. In fact, it was, it was much more frightening for dad than it was son to, to perform that. And I will never forget the, the relief and the look on Evil Knievel's face after his son Robbie cleared the fountains and landed safely. Kirsten. Thank you for sharing that, Ron. Quite a history for the Knievels here in town. Robbie will join his parents by being buried at the family gravesite in Butte, Montana.